everyone welcome back to ace exams this is mahadhar abdali and today i'll be explaining how to balance a uh, redox equation so yeah okay so this is the first example um okay so there are there are multiple steps uh to solving a redox equation now i'm going to give you two examples the first example is going to be easier one and the second one is going to be much harder. So, the first step is that you have to write off this number in the positive sign. So, let me say it has an oxidation number of 3. Mp3 plus has an oxidation number of 3 plus. 2 plus. The next step is that you have to write the, the two equations for the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent. So the oxidizing agent is the agent that is getting reduced and the reducing agent is the agent that is getting oxidized. So opposite oxidizing agent is reduced is getting reduced, the oxidation number is reduced and a uh, reducing agent is the uh, is where the oxidation number is oxidized. So um, we have Fe given a name Fe plus. Now, why did I um, write Fe and um, why did I write Fe two plus? Hey, give me a second. So Fe gives giving you Fe two plus plus two e minus. Now, why did I write two e minus on this side? It's because uh, we're gonna have to make sure that the charges on each side. Are going to be equal so in here there's a charge of zero and in here it's two plus uh, minus two because in here it's two minus so minus two minus two plus two is zero and in here it's zero so the second equation is going to be sorry second equation is going to be fe three plus plus E minus, giving you Fe 2 plus. So I'm going to explain this. So uh, the first thing is that you have to look which um, one has an increasing oxidation number. So if you look in here, Fe, Fe in here is 0 and in here it's 2 plus. So the oxidation number basically increased. And in here, the oxidation number, it decreased. And that is why... Um, we have Fe3 plus plus E minus giving you Fe2 plus. Second, uh, third, uh, third step is that you have to make sure that the number of electrons on both, uh, on the, both equations are equal. So, number of electrons are equal in both equations in both equations so what do i do in this case you just multiply this by two like is sorted two fe3 plus plus two e minus giving you two fe2 plus combine combine the equations and I want to say one thing, you cannot combine the equations without making sure that the number of electrons in both equations are equal, otherwise you're going to get a different answer, and it's just not possible. Uh, so, the equation is going to be Fe plus 2Fe, 3 plus plus 2E minus, giving you Fe, 2 plus plus 2E minus, plus 2Fe, 2 plus. Electrons cancel out to each other. Yeah, it's balanced. So in here we have one Fe, in here we have two Fe three plus, and in here we have two in here. Um, hold on, this is plus. I don't know how it is minus. Uh, two plus. It's problem with the pen. Um, so it's going to be three because one plus two is three. So you can just write this as 3Fe2+. Okay, 
Okay, so this is the second example. Uh, you literally do the same steps on the one before. So the first step, sorry. Give me a second. The first step is the oxidation of the calcium channel. So oxygen has an oxidation. Minus two minus and hydrogen is plus. So, uh, that's the first step. Is that you have to uh, find out which is the oxidizing agent, which is the reducing agent. As I said in the previous slide, oxidizing agent it's getting uh, it's where the oxidation oxidation number is reduced, and reducing agent is where the oxidation number is uh, oxidized. So, again. Mm -hmm. If you look here, magnesium and um, MN2 plus uh, has a reducing oxidation number. MN also The problem oxygen okay. so you just add H and uh, it's going to be 47. We have no hydrogen here. Now, uh, usually I did that because the but if you even if you add H2O and H plus, if you do the second equation and then combine it, and it's gonna cancel out with each other. So don't worry if you H2 H plus, but it's not in the equation. Um, it's gonna cancel out. So, so how do we make sure that this is right? We know we uh, we have to make sure that the charge is on this side. Minus five. So, in here the charge is plus two, and here the charge is plus two. We are on the right track, we can go to the next equation. The next equation is Fe plus Fe3 plus plus and minus five, which is three minus five. And this is um, the uh, reducing agent. Fe plus is the reducing agent. So, first step, we have to make sure that the MN both electrons on each side are equal, so we multiply this by 5, and this gives us 5, FE2 plus 5, FE3 plus, and 5 electrons. Fourth step combined. And if we combine them both, by, I'm just going to do it that way, so plus 5, and also minus plus 8H plus. 8H plus giving you MN2 plus plus 4H2 plus 5FE3 plus plus 5E minus. These two cancel out with each other and we have it here, it's balanced. So MN is 1, uh, FE2 plus is 5, H plus is 8, MN2 plus is 1, 4H2O. And five FE three plus. Okay, thank you very much for listening. See you in the next video. Please make sure to subscribe, uh, like the video, and comment for any feedback, uh, video recommendation, or uh, how do I improve. Uh, thank you very much, and see you in the next video. Bye.